Uh, what's going on people this is Shok. Uh, no intro on this video, uh, no ads on this video. I mean not that I make much money off of YouTube nowadays anyway so I don't put a biz like that or whatever. But um, this is not a troll video. It's not clickbait. I did not believe the, the headlines myself when I saw it. I was just on Facebook and I saw somebody link an article from Kotaku saying uh, Satori Iwata died at the age of 55. And I was scared to click on the link because I thought it was a fake link. I thought it was, uh, you know, one of those things where you could go to a site and have a URL, but have it linked to, you know, something completely different, you know, or something like that. Uh, but I, I went ahead and clicked on it and I saw the article and I was like, OK, no way this is real. This is some site that just looks like a taku or something. So I Googled it and I saw on the other sites and it's actually true. Iwata died at the age of uh, 55 from a... Uh, <clears throat> a bile duct uh, growth, which he had previously gotten treated for, but obviously uh, that wasn't enough. Now, I'm 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 not I'm not, I'm not smiling because it's funny or anything. You know, you guys know how you just don't know how to feel about something. I mean, of course I'm I'm sad, but you know, it's just it's something so unbelievable. You just I I don't know. It's 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 crazy. It's just really crazy that something like this happen like 55 is not that old of an age and this is a guy you know we see all the time you know in, in the nintendo directs and you know of course we we got douchebags out there you know we already have tons of people you know saying like oh well nintendo can improve now or oh maybe the nx will be better now like how how disrespectful i'm trying not to yell because I have my dad right below me in his office. I got, you know, family in my house. How, how disrespectful could you people be? Now, you guys know me. I'm one of the main people who's been grilling Nintendo. Andy Wada specifically, this whole time about the decisions, you know, they've been making and he's been making and all that stuff. But does that mean he's an evil person? Did that, did that mean he was a bad person, people? Did that mean he deserved death? No. No. Sure, he was a little confused when it came to things such as, you know, the Western market. And this isn't me throwing shade, you know, at a dead man or anything like that. He says so himself that he, he didn't really understand the Western market, stuff like that. Let's all be honest. He's made some, you know, really questionable decisions, you know, all that stuff. He didn't do too great of a job with the Wii U. But that, that it, like, how how is that going to make you disrespect the man when he dies you see what i'm saying that <laughs> you guys are sick you you guys are sick and you need help i don't care how many decisions he would have made that i deemed foolish or stupid or whatever i would never be glad that the man died and like i've said before you know um regarding the nintendo direct presentations you know I always said that, like, uh, you know, sometimes I think they should get an English person to present them. But at the same time, I do kind of, you know, enjoy Iwata's, you know, quirkiness and, and, and weirdness. And, you know, honestly, I'm I'm, I'm going to miss that. I, I, I really am. Iwata was, he was a character. You know, he, he was a character. He was his own person. He was, he was unique. You know, he was, in, in that regard, the regard of him being unique, you know, he was, he was the perfect face for Nintendo. He was a really... You know, silly, quirky, you know, kind of odd guy, and you know that uh, you know he did he did a lot of cool things that you really don't typically see CEOs do. Like it, the whole thing he did with Reggie at the beginning of uh, their E3 2014 uh, digital event with the whole fight scene and stuff when they were doing the Smash trailer. Like, you know, so he he, he was a he was a cool guy, regardless of how bad of a, a businessman some of us may think he is or whatever. You know, none of that has any, anything to do with this character. Nobody, none of that had anything to do with, you know, the man he was, you know, and all, the, and all that stuff. So I just, I just can't believe you got some people already making jokes. Some people, you know, like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe this will improve Nintendo's, you know, situation and stuff like that. Can we not think about those things right now? Can we just have a moment of silence? Can we respect the man? And his death, and his family, and, and his friends. You guys gotta understand that this is a very influential, you know, individual. 
and he has personal friends with the likes of you know Miyamoto and Reggie and and Anuma and you know all those Nintendo guys. Think about how they're feeling. Think about all these de- how all these developers are feeling. You know, and, and me personally, you know, again, despite the fact that I think he made so many foolish decisions or whatever, I'm st- I'm still just kind of heartbroken because he's still the president of Nintendo, and you know, mainly for for, for me. Uh, this man is also the co-creator of the Smash Bros. series. Uh, some people may not know that, but he actually helped Sakurai make the original Smash Bros. So, you know, Smash Bros. being my, uh, you know, my favorite gaming franchise of all time, you know, and then Iwata passing away, and especially so early, you know, that, it kind it kind of hits me. You know, it kind of hits me, because he's played a, a really important role in, you know, one of my favorite most memorable gaming franchises you know that i i grew up with you know the the d game of my childhood that being you know smash uh i just i I just just, i just don't know what to say this is crazy uh and they just lost uh yamauchi too uh, was it last year it was last year two years ago i honestly can't remember but you know they just lost yamauchi so nintendo has lost two nintendo presidents within the same decade and one of them left way way too early way earlier than he should have so it's this is a this is a pretty crazy moment you know in gaming you know Iwata was a really influential uh individual he had a passion for gaming he was a a game developer you know himself you know and that's that's probably I would say the most important thing you know everyone has to keep in mind you know regarding Iwata is that you know he was a game developer himself and I'm saying that to make the point that, you know, he himself, you know, was a gamer. He was passionate about video games because he made them himself. So this is a fellow, you know, a lot of, a lot of us are just seeing it as, oh, a CEO passed away. But this is also a fellow gamer. And this is also someone who has, who had a, a passion, you know, in the same industry for the same medium that we have. And that is, of course, you know, gaming. He had a passion for gaming. So... I don't know. I know I've I've said a lot, but at the same time, I just like I just I just don't know what to say. Like it's it's crazy. Like I said, when I first saw it, I thought I, I thought it was a <clears throat> a joke article or or something or you know April Fools. Although it's not April, I don't know. You guys know how the internet is. You know how these fake you know websites are and these fake Facebook links. But uh, Satoru Iwata passed away. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting seeing what's going to happen with, uh, you know, Nintendo from here on out. But like I said, guys, chill on the jokes, chill on the, oh, the index, you know, will be better now. Nintendo will be better off now, you know, chill on that guys. Now is not the time to really talk about that kind of stuff. You know, let's just pay our respects to them, you know, have a moment of silence, you know, leave all the hostility and, you know, and joking at the door, all that stuff. Now's not the time. It is way too early for that stuff. It just happened. So chill. But um, rest in peace, Iwata. You know, I had plenty of disagreements with you and, and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I still respected you. You know, I still respected the guy. You know, I talk about Miyamoto all the time and how I think he needs to, you know, retire and stop. But, you know, I've always made sure that whenever I say that, I always say, I always throw in there, you know, but I still respect the man, you know, for who he is. And what he's done and and the same goes for Iwata you know again a lot of stuff he's done that I, I don't agree with a lot of stuff he's done that doesn't make sense to me personally but I still respect him for his passion I still respect him for his efforts I still respect him for for taking up the mantle you know he's somebody who Yamauchi you know approved of himself so this is somebody who he had a lot of faith in somebody he respected somebody he trusted and now he's passed away. So, you know, Iwata going, it, it really means a lot. But I rambled on long enough. Uh, that's for this video, y'all. Leave me your thoughts down below. Uh, RIP to Iwata. I'll see you guys later.